Okay, hello and welcome. This is a new video um, and I need chopstick. Okay, so today I'm filming a get ready with me. This is going to be a general holiday, November, December, get ready with me situation. That kind of includes Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, a fall winter date night, a Christmas look. So in this get ready with me, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup plus um, my hair and picking out a couple of outfits. I have three outfit options. Let me know which one's your favorite. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to start with the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrops. I have mine in the shade number five. I feel like it's like a good foundation for lasting all day throughout the night. So for us, we're usually pretty busy around the holidays. It just feels like we're kind of going all day. So definitely a good foundation for that. It's kind of on the matte side though, so I would recommend putting on a moisturizer before you do it. Next I'm going to be using the Merit Cream Blush in the shade Terracotta. If you watch my fall makeup bag video, you would know that this has been pretty much everything that's been on my face for the past couple of months. So Merit is actually having a cyber sale coming up. I would definitely recommend picking this up during their upcoming sale. It's just such a good staple and at this point it's pretty much replaced all of my other cream blushes and powder blushes at this point. So this is definitely, I think the shade is really good and the formula is really good. And I have a couple of other products that I will be using from Merit. They sent over a couple of products for their sales specifically. And this is by far my all time favorite of all the other products, but I do like, they have a lot of good staples if you're looking to add something to your makeup collection. Is that better? I think it's better. So anyways. So I feel like it kind of does the job of both blush and bronzer, the shade in particular. And you can definitely start soft. It's kind of a sheer formula, but it definitely builds up after a while. And I don't know, I just love it. It's my favorite. She's my best friend. So next I'm going to be using a powder. I've been trying out this new Makeup Revolution powder. This is the Infinite Powder, I think that's how it's called. Anyway, it's just a nice translucent powder. I can't tell if I love it or if I hate it. So that's where I'm at right now with this. I've tried applying it in a bunch of different ways. I think so far my favorite way of applying it is with a sponge. And I use it on my under eyes and then also just all over the face if I need to. Okay, and then I use a big fluffy brush for setting all over the face. And I think, I think it looks really nice all over the face. You can barely see that you're even using a powder. And also the powder like doesn't have like any like dusty particles coming out of it, like most do. So I really like that about it as well. And really great for all over the face. I just can't tell if I like it underneath the eyes. That's what I'm like most picky about. So we'll see. Let me know if you've tried this and have any thoughts about it. Just let me know, okay? So next I'll be using a highlighter, of course. I mean, do you even have to ask? <laughs> it's the Nobla Skin Glazing Powder in the shade Ozone. I'm just gonna apply that to the top of my cheekbones. I feel like this is a really great universal shade. It doesn't leave a color underneath it, which is really nice. Next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I've been really liking this NYX um, Lift and Snatch brow pen. I have mine in the shade Taupe. It's just a nice little like fine tip pen that you can just like fill in your eyebrows with. First I go in with the Honest Beauty brow gel in the shade Natural, which is the clear brow gel. They're a really good combo together, but also I feel like brows shouldn't take that long and that's why I use these two because they don't take that long to do. I usually just like brush in some brow gel and then barely fill in and then I'm good to go. I'm really not super picky about it. I think I'm actually going to do my lips next. I'm going to line my lips with the M Cosmetics Soft Blur Lip Liner in the shade Fawn. It's a really good natural lip color. And then I'm going to use the Merit Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Taupe. This is one of their newer shades that they just released, I believe, last month. They're really, 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 really soft. And it's just such a good shade. I think it goes with really everything. Again, this is one of the products that starts out pretty sheer and you can kind of build up the color as you go. Super pretty, super pretty. So finally, I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow. I, do I even need to say anything? I mean, I use this in every video, I'm so sorry. So 
So I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury's Milky Eyes of Forever palette. This is a limited edition holiday palette for 2021. So you should really get your hands on it before it's not here anymore. <laughs> it is probably the best thing I have from Charlotte Tilbury. Which I mean, I guess I don't have that much from Charlotte Tilbury. So is that even saying that much? I don't know. I'm just going to put a little bit of the brown transition shade in the transition. And then I'm going to use the pink in the Love Eyes trio and just put that all over the lid. Okay, and then I'm going to use the chocolate brown in the Confident Eyes trio to kind of darken up the outer corner. And I feel like really don't be shy with like going further than you think you should. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you could really either just remove it if it looks weird, but the chances are it probably won't look that weird. <laughs> So now I'm just blending into the lower lash line, not too far in. I usually go about halfway and then stop. If I go all the way around, it kind of looks like very dramatic and that's not really what I'm going for. So yeah, I like that. It's kind of like every day, but a little more, you know? So finally, I'm going to take a little eyeliner brush. This is the Moto Pro line brush. It's a BXM489 line brush. It's a really tiny one and it's perfect for making wings on the outer corner. I'm just going to take a little bit of the black in the Confident Eyes trio and make a little wing. Again, with this one, I don't go too far in. I usually start about here and then go to about here. Just so you can see it. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to put on mascara. Today I'm using the Merit Beauty Perfect Black Lengthening Mascara. This does a really great job at both volumizing and lengthening. So the brush is like a really fluffy... Anyway, it's just nice and fluffy and it's like one of the brushes that I really like. The formula is really good at just like building and lengthening. But basically it comes off with warm water and I really like that. But it lasts a really long time compared to other dupe mascaras. I always feel like I end my sentences with more to say and then I like don't have more to say so I'm just like, hello. I I was talking a little bit about this whole time. I'm actually sincerely worried about that sometimes. Finally, I'm going to use a little bit of the highlighter color in the inner corner because that's who I am. That's my whole personality. And it just brightens it up just a little bit. It kind of makes you look more awake if you are an insomniac like me, so. Great, so I'm done with makeup. I really like how it turned out. Nice and warm, toasty fall colors. Nice holiday colors, you know, just nice holiday colors. I think mostly when it comes down to it, the blush and the lips and also the eyes kind of tie the whole thing together. Okay, so I think now I'm going to undo my hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted a five hairstyle, curly hairstyle video where I show you all of my five favorite hairstyles and those are pretty much what I use exclusively. <laughs> so go follow me on Instagram if you're not already. It's a good way to get quick content. But all that to say, I'm gonna do the bun one of those five. So basically I'll leave down my bangs and then put up my hair into a cute little, a cute little bun. But I usually use the Eva NYC Main Magic Primer and then also Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Here's the uh, current fit, which I fully support. All right, let's change. Okay, so this first outfit, I have my American Eagle jeans from my jeans video, the essentially the only jeans I wear. And then I paired it with these platform white sneakers. I feel like any kind of white sneaker would look cute with this outfit. And then I have this little gray crew neck that I got from Amazon, as well as this white button down shirt laid underneath of it. I feel like it's just a nice like casual, but kind of like still a little dressed up type of outfit. So anyway, just nice and comfy, lots of room, lots of warmth and the camera wasn't even there. So this is up number two. I have this top and kind of neck collar thing. It comes in one whole set. It's from Boyd. I have it in black. I wear a size large. And then I also have the H&M 
black flare bands, I believe is what it's called. The material actually looks quite similar. They're both kind of like this black ribbed material on both the top and the bottom, so they look really cohesive together. A little more dressed up, but I feel a lot more comfortable in it, honestly. Like, the pants are really stretchy, which is, like, good for eating holidays. So anyway, this is kind of just like a nice, like, little dressy option, but still comfy. Okay, so final outfit. This is kind of a little bit more dressy. I mean, actual dressy. So yeah, I got this dress from Princess Polly. I think they have a lot of really good dress options if you're looking for any. Just the cuts are really flattering and just really nice quality. So finally, I paired it with this white cardigan. I got this from Target. I believe the brand is A New Day, and this is just like an oversized slouchy cardigan. Why am I so bad at holding a camera? You'd think I have like the weakest wrist in the world. I paired it with a couple of necklaces. Both of these are from Amazon. Get a little close up. So I have my little J pendant necklace, which is I got a long time ago from Amazon. I'm sure they have thousands of these. They are really cute. Then I also have this little chain necklace, which you can kind of adjust the length to whatever you want. I like it as a choker the best, but you could have it longer or shorter if you want. So there's that. So I like kind of pairing traditionally like dressy pieces uh, with more casual pieces. I think that it kind of just like pulls the whole thing together without making it look like you tried too hard, but also you still like look pretty put together, you know? This one's probably one of my favorite outfits. Definitely an inside outfit. Also maybe like a shoes off household <laughs> because the socks. So yeah, this is by far one of my favorite outfits very comfortable very eating friendly and just very friendly in general that's it that's it for all of my outfits and now i'm going to the outro subscribe for more videos like the video if you like the video a big thank you to merit for sending over products for today's video and let me know if you'd like to see more of them i can do more of them just let me know okay i'll see you sometime next week goodbye Is this gonna be my intro? Am I doing intro like this? Uh, who knows? Anyways, I feel like it's been a minute since I did an actual makeup video. Your girl's a little rusty. I decided I was gonna be boring today, I'm sorry. Oh, you would think that I don't know how to do life sometimes.